Hi, this is Lou from Glowing Pigs International. And this is the seventh in a tutorial series that shows you how to play music in a service um, in an Android app that you code. And the reason you want to play it in a service is so that a person using the app can leave the app, go get their email, or go surf the web, or go to another app, and the music will continue to play. So what we did last time in Tutorial 6 was we popped up a little buffering progress dialog. So during the time between when you actually hit the play button and the music starts to play, there's something that tells people that things are happening. So if you remember, I click that and we get this choiring song and then the music starts to play. Then I hit pause and it stops. Now what we're going to do in this, this tutorial is we're going to create a situation where someone unplugs a headphone and we want to stop the music because if you're in a public place, whatever, you don't want the music to blast out when you pull your headphone out of the jack. So we're going to use something in the service uh, that listens for an Android action, a predefined action that deals with the headset. So the first thing we're going to do is we have to declare a, a headset switch variable because we're going to use it later on. So I'm going to put this in here. <coughs> and we're going to set it to 1. And then uh, we have to register a receiver that is listening for a particular Android action related to the headset. And that action is a predefined action called action underscore headset plug. Okay. And it's what's called an intent filter. Filters the intent to that particular action. Next thing we have to do is we have to create the broadcast receiver and have it do what it's supposed to do. So why don't we do that? We're going to place that in a method right under here where this on start command is. And that method is going to say if the headset is plugged in and it gets unplugged, we want to stop the music. We have to import the broadcast receiver library. Okay, so What's happening here is, first of all, we're creating a new broadcast receiver. We're setting a Boolean variable headset connected to false, meaning that there is no headset connected. Then we're going to look at an extra that comes in with this particular intent called state. And we're going to say if the headset connected is true, and we get a state of zero, that means the headset was connected and it's pulled out. So that means we'll set the headset connected to false and we'll set this headset switch to zero. Otherwise, if the headset wasn't connected and we get a state of one, meaning the headset is now connected, then we want to set headset connected to true and set that switch to one. And then we look at the switch over here and we say if if the switch is zero, it means the headset was disconnected and we want to do something. We're going to execute this in, uh, method. If, case, if the case is one, we don't do anything. Remember, if the headset was never connected, we don't want to do anything. If the headset was is connected, we don't want to do anything. It's only when the headset is connected and then taken out that we want to stop the music. So this headset d disconnected, we have to create that particular method. And basically what we're going to do in there is we're just going to stop the media from playing and then we're going to stop the service. Okay. So that takes care of that. And that's everything you need to do to handle the headset stuff. However, 
We have to remember one other thing if we take a look at what this looks like. Let's say I hit play. Okay, now that becomes a pause button. Now let's say that you pull your headset out. The activity is disconnected from the service, so the service will know your headset's out, but the activity is still going to show this pause button unless we let the activity know that the headset was pulled out. So what we're going to do that with another broadcast from the activity, from the service to the activity. And what we're going to do, the easiest way to do that is to plug another value into the broadcast we were sending out already to uh, let the activity know that there was buffering going on. So let's just, we copy this broadcast and we're just going to add a value of 2 that the activity will read and the activity will say, okay, if, if the uh, value is 2, will uh, change that button from a pause button to a play button. And we'll call that reset button play stop broadcast. We're going to execute that when the service ends. Now when does the service end? The service ends the last thing that happens when the service ends is the on destroy. So we'll plug it into on destroy. We'll say when the service ends let the activity know to change that to a play button. The other thing we have to do is unregister if you remember from the last tutorial, every time you register a broadcast receiver, we have to unregister it. So we'll unregister that in the on destroy also. Now, let's just see if we've got everything. I see there's a mistake here somewhere, so let's see where that is. Uh, oh, we're missing a library, the intent filter library. Okay. So once we have that, we're all set there. So that's everything we we have to do in the activity. But now we have to go in, into the in the service. I mean, now we have to go into the activity though and have the activity listen for that two coming over. So let me just copy this. We'll just plug this in over here as another case, and we'll say if it's two, okay. What do we want to do if it's two? Well, we want to set that background resource for the button play stop button to the play button. So we'll do that here. And now we have everything. Now you can't test the headset being pulled out using the emulator. There's no way to emulate that. So we're going to test it with an actual device and I'll show you that next. So there you have the application and I press play and you see the headphones plugged in. It buffers and then it plays the music. And it's playing I Believe in Love and then if I take out the headphone jack right now and I watch the pause button I pull out the jack. First of all you'll see the icon go away and then you'll see the pause button change into a play button. There you go. And that's it.